What up guys, hope everything is going well. Now I want to do a video on Bitcoin. And I wanted to touch base on it because few important developments are occurring in the next month or so. The CME, where futures products are traded, will be introducing a Bitcoin contract. So for every dollar, that will represent $25 move. So if the contract goes up, let's say $10 in a day, you'll make $250. And if you're short Bitcoin, you'd lose $250. Now, Bitcoin is so volatile, so a lot of people are going to be like, hey, I can make money on this. But the problem is there's a lot of people that are probably going to be blown out. So right now, the contract as of today is like what eight thousand dollars or the bitcoin price is eight thousand dollars so take that times 25 so that that's already a what almost a two hundred thousand dollar contract so that that's going to be huge and how much you'd have to put on it you usually put you're usually levered 30 to 1 on some of these assets so let's try to do the math here you probably have to put somewhere between what six to ten thousand dollars depending on the contract some contracts vary so that would be <laughs> kind of ridiculous how you could put six thousand dollars and you could get blown out within one trading day but looking at the price action of bitcoin it's just gone up in a straight line and markets they generally do not go up in a straight line so you've seen the price go up from what, a hundred bucks to eight thousand dollars. Gold prices don't go up this high. Uh, the S and P doesn't go up this high, and you could say that about all markets. They need to consolidate, and they need to have cor hard correction. Now the fact is, Bitcoin has been po getting more and more popular because. Uh, there has been a lot more money placed in blockchain. You are also starting to see many vendors that will accept Bitcoin in the near future. Square announced that they will accept Bitcoin. Now I'm seeing all these events occurring. And the fact is CME is going to launch that futures contract. And then the CBOE is going to launch uh, options trading. The reason why I didn't want to trade in Bitcoin was number one, what I saw, what happened with Mt. Gox. After that, I was like, I don't want to deal with it. But now you're starting to see exchanges with uh, consumer protections, like the CME, CBOE. It's going to be a little more mainstream than it was a few years ago. So now, since it's going to get a little more mainstream, you have more people involved what are they probably going to do? Obviously, some people are going to be hedging in these markets. They're going to sell short. But then you are going to see some of the guys that who never bought a Bitcoin, they're going to start to buy Bitcoin. Now, speaking of people starting to buy Bitcoin for the first time, uh, one of my wife's friends, he wanted to talk to me because he says that, hey, you know a lot about investing or you talk about investing all the time. What do you think about coins? I want you to take a look at these coins. And I was thinking to myself, like, what the hell are you talking about, coins? And then the last, first thing that popped up is, okay, he must be talking about cryptocurrencies. So the weird thing is whenever people come up to me or come up to my wife and then they want to talk to me regarding the, like bitcoins or coins or whatever, that's just a red flag. I don't know if you remember a few years ago when Bitcoin topped in the $1,100 range. I had uh, one of my relatives, or distant relatives, he's been on my program, Ummer, and he said, like, what do you think about Bitcoin? I felt that this price action led me to believe that the price of Bitcoin would go much, much lower. It did go much lower. It had over 90% haircut. I mean, yeah, it's fully recovered. But at the time, when people start to get excited, you start to see these crazy moves to the upside. And if you want to look at it from a technical perspective, I usually don't look at technical analysis, but um, there are some charts that these guys use, and it's just 
simple Fibonacci retracement. So right now, uh, the last Fibonacci retracement was 685.4%. That's a huge retracement, right? You usually see levels at the 161.8 or uh, 382 uh, levels. That, that, that's what you see in the charts. Sometimes you may say 261.8, but if it goes above that, what, what are the next levels? Like the 423.6% uh, retracement level, the 685.4 level, and then finally, there's a 1109% level. And that price, if it were to get to that level, that FIB level, you see Bitcoin trading at $11,890 approximately, based on the chart that I'm looking at. And this is a chart created by the technician JC Peretz from All Star Charts. I'm looking at it, it says $11,892. That, in my opinion, would be the ultimate top for now. And then Sure, Bitcoin could go much higher after that if more companies start to accept Bitcoin. Uh, the reality is now you'll have opportunities for companies to hedge in Bitcoin. You already have this uh, platform. It's uh, Ledger X. So a lot of hedge funds can trade Bitcoin on that. But now you're getting CME, COBOE, and whatnot. You're getting the establishment companies getting involved in providing access for people to trade Bitcoin. And now you're starting to see that, in my opinion, you may start to see the trend reverse the downside because of all that we're seeing. Remember, it's a buy the rumor, sell the news. That may be the same exact thing going on right now. People are buying up Bitcoin because of the anticipation of um, the exchanges picking it up. And then two, you're starting to see companies like Square getting involved in Bitcoin or that will get involved in Bitcoin. So you're starting to see a lot more activity in Bitcoin. And the move, in my opinion, is over-exaggerated and will have a hard, hard correction. And at that time, it may be a good idea to buy. But at this point, there's no reason to buy at these high levels because if you want to look at real money, which I feel is gold and silver, right? The largest move that you've seen is go from what a few hundred bucks to 1,200 bucks, not 1,200 to 2,000 bucks, within a span of a decade. Now you're starting to see Bitcoin. You saw a crazy move from 100 something to over 8,000 dollars. That move is very exaggerated in my opinion, and we need to see a correction. Because the minute that it keeps on going high, 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 these people that are just buying at these levels for the first time, they're going to get burned. Anyways, thanks for listening to me, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.